Hey, this is Dave uh, from Azweb Tutoring and in this video, I'll show you what exactly you have to study in math knowledge section in your AFOQT exam. So as you know, the AFOQT for the people who want to join in the US military as an officer in the Air Force branch. Okay, so you could see here, this is the schedule. Um, that we will talk today here so this all the um, the topics uh, you need to study in order to cover all the courses and that you'll see in the actual AFOQ2 exam in math and knowledge section so i'm not going to read everything in here so i'm going to go over one by one the problem um, the sample problem you could practice those and end of the video i'll show you the app you could use to practice more and more and it has also um, a prediction test you could take this prediction test that kind of tells you what might be your score if you go to your recruiter's office and take the test so let's go so the first thing you need to study um, how to multiply um, variables right so this is the very basic thing you need to learn um, you need to learn how to multiply variables uh, different variables and um, how to multiply variables with different exponent let's make sure that you study those it will help you a lot so this all this example you could see here um, I'm going one by one so make sure that you also practice like um, the multiply with the parenthesis one that is another good one and most of the courses that you've seen the ex exam it will be very similar uh, that we have in the application that I'll show you end of the video so you need to practice those so then you need to learn how to multiply factors okay so these are the example make sure that you practice those if you practice those you cannot get like you might not get exactly same problem in the test but it will give you like the confident uh, on the material you need to study so this is that so practice how to multiply factors then learn how to uh, do um, division of variables so you could do you could see this in an example It'll try to learn that type of problem um, and practice more and more so the next thing you need to learn how to do addition and subtraction of algebraic expression so you could see here this, there are two algebraic expression in here um, you need to add them together and then simplify that right so make sure that you learn you need to learn also how to subtract algebraic expression. So you need to know how to addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of algebraic expression. So make sure that you, you learn. The next thing you need to learn how to find a value of an algebraic expression. You could see here, um, the value of X is given or Y is given, you need to find the other one. So make sure that you practice that type of problem um, uh, for your um, AF or QT prep for math knowledge section. So um, there are many examples in here um, that you could practice and you could use the app to practice more and more and take the test. So learn that type of problem um, with a uh, whole number with a fraction. Okay, so this is the same thing. If you know how to add the number with a fraction, then you could do that too. So next thing you need to learn how to simplify algebraic expression. So if, if you have like that, so you could like eliminate top and bottom, and you could get the correct answer. Okay. So the next thing, um, learn that type of problem. I'm going one by one. So um, same way, find the algebraic expression value. So the next topics we have, let's go. Factor, right? So learn how to factorize. Factor is a big problem in here. Not big problem like a lot of questions you might see in the um, in the test. So learn how to factorize. So these are the example you could see, um, factorize this type of expression, right? So learn how to factorize that. Um, the next thing you need to learn also how to find the slope of a um, algebraic uh, equation, okay? So you need to find that. You also need to find the distance between two points and midpoint. You definitely see a, a problem on distance between two point and midpoint of, um, midpoint of uh, two points um, on a plane, right? So you could see here, so you could find here 
um, slope of a line. So you could practice more examples like that. Um, slope of a line. So you could find the slope if it's two points of a uh, line is given, you could find the midpoint. You don't need to learn like the uh, finding the algebraic, uh, I mean the finding the equation of a line. You don't need to go that detail. But if you could learn, that's fine. So uh, you could see here, uh, what is the slope? So these two points are given, you need to find the slope. So that big thing in here is to solving algebraic equation. So you need to learn how to solve algebraic equation. So different type of equation you could see here, um, single variables, mostly single variables, but there are few problems you might see in systems of linear equation. So I'm coming to that. So learn all this type of problem. Uh, different examples so it is that so yeah so this is like um, solving system of um, linear equation that means two variable two unknown so learn how to do that the next thing is also learn how to find the um, how to solve the inequalities that is the um, the topics you'll see in the in the actual exam So find how to learn how to find uh, square root of a number, how to ad do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of square roots. You need to learn that too. So learn that type of problem here. Um, also these. Learn how to do factorials. So you'll see one or two problem maybe in the factorial. Sometimes you get because you know there are different versions of test. You don't know which one you're gonna get. Some. Some version has it, some version it doesn't, but make sure that you practice. So the last thing we have is also find the, the value of a function, right? So you see like the, this is the function and you need to find function of three. So learn that type of problem, okay? So uh, we have been hearing from my students that they added this type of course and recently, so make sure that you practice those. So that's all you, you need to study um, all the topics that cover, but if you want to study by yourself, um, use uh, this application. If you go to App Store and search with AF or QT Tutoring, or if you go to, go to Google Play, you'll see the, uh, you'll see the uh, same app in the Play Store too. So download this application and then practice. Okay, you could practice here. So let's go to like the website. So you could see here, this is the website we have also. You could practice there too. Okay, so and good luck.